Hey guys, I'm Glitter Valkyrie, and today we are pulling on the Aided Regan and Attuned Tamara banner. They put two of my favorite engaged characters on this banner, and so I am so excited to pull today. So we can talk about these characters as we go, but let's go ahead and get started. Well, <laughs> you know, I was really hoping to just stick to blues and greens today, but I do like Marin as a character. Like, she's not my favorite favorite, but I do like her. So if she wants to come home, that is fine. Um, but I am really hoping that we can stick to those blues and greens because I so want to get to Mara and Fogato today. Um, like I said, they are some of my favorites from Engage. I love their personalities. They are so much fun. And I am so excited that they are finally here together in Faye. Um, and I truly want them both equally, so I'm really hoping that maybe at least one can come home and then I can spark for the other. Um, and I'm a little bit nervous about pulling blues because of the color sharing aspect, and I did want to talk a little bit about that. Um, I imagine that a lot of people are really excited that we have this new unit type, and Regan is a fairly popular character, but for me on this banner, it's actually a little bit of a negative that they're color sharing. And I think part of it is that I'm just not a fan of Regan. Like, even when she first came out, I really didn't care. And it's always a challenge for me when there is a character that's new and is really powerful, but if I don't have any connection to them, then I end up pretty much never using them. Um, so for me, that was not um, a plus for this banner. And I was also a little bit sad that she took a spot away from potentially another Engage character. Um, and there is one character that got passed over that I am so sad about, and that is Bunei. And I know he would not be a powerful character if he were added, like I expected him to be a four star whenever he got added. But the fact that everybody else from Solm is pretty much in and he has been passed up makes me very, very sad. Um, because he is so much fun. I love the voice work in Engage, and I also love when he yells spicy when he's attacking things. <laughs> and so I really wish he could have been on this banner in some way. Um, and so maybe he'll show up like on a future banner, maybe a seasonal or something. But um, for me, the definite prizes on this banner are Tamara and Fogato. And so I think with all that said, we can go ahead and answer some viewer questions. And as always, if I don't get to yours, I am so sorry. I'll try to do it in a future one. And if you think of a question you want to ask me, just put it in the comments with hashtag question, and I will put your question on my list. And so our first question today comes from Cosmic Starlight EX, and there are a couple for me. And they ask, which book do you not even care about all of the OCs, to the point that you wish Asgard or whatever Thor and Loki belong to would want to nuke the realm out of existence? Oh my goodness. <laughs> And then um, the next question that I have from Cosmic is, what emblems do you wish to see in Heroes? And as for the current Heroes, who did you equip the emblems currently available? And then after that, there is another question um, that is related to Genshin Impact, but I actually had a couple of other questions that are somewhat related, so I think I'm gonna answer that um, a little bit later. So let's go ahead and start with a question about nuking um, the book OCs. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, Kyle. <laughs> You know what, I do not have him, so I'm really, really happy with this. Um, but getting back to our question from Cosmic, um, I was gonna talk about which OCs would get nuked, and truthfully, I don't really want anybody to get nuked. I don't hate anyone that much. Um, but if I had to pick a, oh, Kaildori. <laughs> you know what, I like Kaildori, so I'll take this. Okay, let's check IVs. And she is minus attack, but that is fine. <laughs> And uh, we will just keep going with this very lucky question. And I think that I was saying that, um, unfortunately, this most recent book is my least favorite out of all the books. I really have no attachment to any of the characters whatsoever. And so I do think that it is my least favorite. And then um, as for the next question about emblems, there are so many that I am excited for to be added to Faye because it just so happens that a lot of them are some of my favorite characters in Fire Emblem. Um, and if I had to narrow it down, I think that um, Lucina and Corrin are at the top of my list just because I absolutely love the characters and I used those particular emblems a ton. And so I'm really excited to see what they bring to Faye. And there is one other character that I did want to mention, but I have very mixed feelings about it. And um, unfortunately, that is Sigurd. Um, he is my favorite character from FE4, like my favorite male character, and I absolutely love him, but I am also terrified of what he will bring to Faye when he gets added. 
Um, just because with a lot of the emblem characters, they've made it very, very challenging um, to fight against characters who are engaged. And I am so scared of what they will do with Sigurd with movement shenanigans. Like already, it is like so painful to deal with like Winter Edelgard with Celica equipped. And who knows what it will be like when Sigurd comes out. So I have so many mixed feelings because I love him, but I'm also afraid. So, <laughs> so I don't know how to feel about it. And then um, as for your second question about who I have equipped right now, um, for Marth, I have him equipped to Sarah. And then um, for Ike, I have him um, equipped to Diamant, just like I had in Engage. And then um, for Celica, I have her um, paired with my Halloween Lara shell, and it is so much fun. Highly recommend. <laughs> um, but thank you so much for all those very lucky questions. And uh, let's go ahead and answer our next one. And this was another one um, with some similar questions asked by a few different people. So this comes from Cosmic Starlight EX, Tox Hack, and Edgar Mosso. And they all asked in one way or another about my thoughts on Natlan and Genshin Impact and my favorite and least favorite characters. So um, I'm so excited to talk about this because I have been spending so much time playing in Natlan. It is such a fun region. I love everything about it and I am so hyped for so many of the characters. Um, I think that the scenery is absolutely beautiful and I love its vibrance and warmth and the very varied areas that they have and I just really, really enjoy exploring it. And I also like a lot of the movement buffs that they've added. Oh, oh my goodness, Jeffrey. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is almost as good as a focus. I'm so happy to see him. Okay, let's check IVs. And he is plus res. I am so, so happy with the merch for him. <laughs> And so uh, we will just keep going with this incredibly lucky question. And I think that I was saying that um, in Natlan, I have really enjoyed a lot of the movement buffs. And that is with me not even having one of the new five-star characters. So I'm just using the free um, Kachina and I'm using all the cute little dinosaurs. And it has been really just like a joy to traverse this new area. Um, so that has been really nice. And I also feel like there have been a ton of quality of life upgrades um, with 5.0. And a lot of the things are things that like should have happened years ago, but at this point, I am just happy that they are happening. And so um, that has been really nice too. And in addition to all of that, um, I feel like I have to talk about the characters because that's a huge part of the region. And I have just been so happy with what they've given us so far. And if you are asking about the character that is my favorite, easiest answer ever, it is Mavoika. Um, I think that she might end up being my second favorite Archon behind Nahida, um, just because she can't be dethroned. <laughs> but I love everything about Mavoika so far. I think her design is amazing. I love that she is a really selfless character, and I feel like she truly cares about her people, and that is so, so nice. Um, and so for all of those reasons, she is my favorite. I am going to be pulling for her the minute that she releases, and hopefully I can get a nice weapon for her as well. Um, but in addition to her, there are a lot of other characters that I've enjoyed. Um, I actually love Capitano, um, partly because he's voiced by one of my favorite voice actors of all time with Chris Tergliaferra. Um, he does such a good job, um, but also because he's very honorable and you don't always see that with the Harbingers, so that is really, really nice. Um, so I definitely want to pull for him if he becomes playable. Um, I'm also very interested in Chaska and Auroran, and I think the next character that I will pull for is Shilonen, um, because she is a healer and she has rollerblades, and I just think that's neat. <laughs> and so yes, um, a lot of great characters, and if I have to pick a least favorite, there are really no characters that I hate, but um, the little like pixelated thing that floats around Keenich is very, very annoying, so I would go with that. <laughs> Um, but thank you all so much for that very, very lucky question. And uh, let's go ahead and answer another one. And this comes from King Crocus. And they ask, what banner theme do you look forward to the most year round? So um, there are definitely a couple that I look forward to every year. But if I have to narrow it down, I think that I would go with Halloween just because it is my favorite holiday. Um, and I will say that historically, I feel like Faye does a very good job with those banners. I think they're almost always very well themed and usually every year there's at least one character that I like. So hopefully that is the case this year. I know the last two banners have not been very appealing to me, but I think that this banner is pretty neat. So hopefully they can keep that up. 
Um, but thank you for that great question. Okay, please be Fogato. Okay, smoke. That is not Fogato. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and pull this blue. Hopefully we can see one of the siblings soon. And let's go ahead and answer our next question. And this comes from Jer Bear. And they ask, what unit type and banner theme would you, holy smokes, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh, what are the chances of two of her in one session? This is insane. Okay, let's check IVs. And she is plus HP, I'll take it. <laughs> And you know what, that does fill up all of our scam bubbles now. So hopefully that means we can get Tamara or Forgato to come home. Um, but let's go ahead and get back to this very lucky question from Jer Bear. Um, they ask, what unit type and banner theme could you see for a Fogato and Claude harmonic? And what other units would you like to see alongside them? So I think that is the most amazing idea for a duo. I think that they are so similar in personality. They'd be so fun together and I would love to see it happen. And so um, I think that if they could be melee, that would be really nice just because um, that would be really nice for Claude Emblem. Um, I'd love to, oh, well, <laughs> well, it was bound to happen, so that's okay. Oh, we get a blue thing and, and that, sure. <laughs> okay, let's check IVs. And she is plus defense, okay. <laughs> Honestly, I know nothing about her stat line, but hopefully she can bring Tamara home with her. Um, but getting back to our very lucky question from Jer Bear, I was saying that I would love to see Fogato and Claude as a melee unit because that would help out my Claude emblem. And I would love to see a banner um, where it's like a Solmic festival because I love that whole region. It's so much fun and I wanna see more of it. And so for a banner like that, of course Tamara has to be there. It's not a party without her. Um, but then I would also love to see Bunei because I just want Bunei to be in Faye. <laughs> And then I think to round out the banner, it'd be super fun if we had Raphael on there, just because I feel like he would fit that whole vibe and it would be, oh, that is Ophelia. <laughs> you know what? I am merging mine up, so I'm happy with this. And there's 40. Let's check IVs. And she is minus attack, but that is a merge. <laughs> All right, so we'll do our last poll. Hopefully this is Fogato. And thank you so much, Jer Bear, for that very lucky question. Okay, three star. <laughs> and we end with a violent. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do our spark. And I hate to have to make this choice, but we have to go with Tamara because she is limited and she's color sharing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love this art so, so much. And we get the thing. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and end things here. I am really happy that we got Tamara and hopefully I can get Fogato in the future since he is going to be in the regular pool. And if you guys are pulling on the spanner, I wish you all the best of luck. I also want to say a big thank you to everybody submitting questions. I so appreciate your support. So thank you so, so much. And as always, thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.